Shalom, Chavirim. Hello, my friends. The sound of the shofar means that Rosh Hashanah and then Yom Kippur are coming. On Erev Yom Kippur, we sing Kol Nidre. I have always had a difficult time with this liturgy. You may be like me as well. The idea that we are asking for forgiveness ahead of time for all of the vows, all of the promises that we will break is difficult for me to acknowledge as being part of my idea of Judaism. And if you are like me, then you find yourself also being in the same position that our rabbis and scholars have been in in years past when they decided that they were going to remove the liturgy of Kol Nidre. However, they discovered that though the liturgy, the words may be removed, the music itself was too powerful to subtract from the service. The music itself was too appropriate, too meaningful. And so on this day of Elul, I have put together a condensed version of the Max Bruch Kol Nidre to allow the power of that music to continue to help us prepare for the upcoming high holiday.
on this day, as other days in Elul, we think over the past year. But on this day, unlike the other days in Elul, we think back 19 years to September 11th, 2001, and the terrorist attacks that occurred on American soil. And to remember that day, we sing God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet Shabbat Shalom, Lihitraot, goodbye my friends.